They are telling you what their priority is. As you know, it is a crime to purchase or to obtain child pornography. And the reason why is because doing so, though you're not the one directly harming the child, you are promoting that. You are encouraging that. Your patronage encouraged the crime to continue. Similarly, if you support, frequent, or patronize a false teacher or someone who is about themselves a self-promoter, it is also an egregious act. Think about it this way. What do you think God should do or would do to the person, not only the person who is trying to supplant him and take his glory, but those who are encouraging it, those who themselves want to be like the person that they're looking at. When you see some of these people, they are telling you exactly who they are and what they are about. How do I know? Just go to some of these people's, either their Facebook pages or maybe their Instagram pages. I think Instagram is kind of the place where you might find it, where you're going to see them promoting. Sometimes they're promoting Christ because they're they're named to be Christians, they're professing to be Christians, but oftentimes they are promoting themselves. Now, this is the prophet Brian Karn putting on his suit. Suit's a little bit tight, I think so. And uh, the color is just not something I would wear, but fine. Uh, getting out of a Range Rover. And do you notice the music that's playing? <laughs> What he's playing is the intro for the song by the OJs, For the Love of Money. Now, so, so that you understand, this is not someone that put this together. This is actually on his own page, his, his own, I guess this is TikTok. But if you click on it, it's going to take him to, your, to his uh, Instagram page. So this is him promoting, this is him putting it together. This is what he thought he should promote. What we call these people are celebrity pastors, but what the, what it really is, these are church celebrities. What I mean by that is these are people in the church who want to be celebrities and they want to use the church to be celebrities. Paul describes these men as men of depraved mind, deprived of the truth, who suppose that godliness is a means of gain. They think that being in the church, appearing godly, that's how they gain some. That's how they get some. They are after, as as he said, the almighty dollar, money, money, money for the love of money, for the love of fame. They want to be someone special. And more importantly, they want you to think they're special. I was born by the river. My God. In a little tent. You'd be fighting my battles. Now, this is Keon Henderson, born in Indiana. Uh, and he is promoting his 43rd birthday. My God, be, be taking care of stuff. My God makes my enemies my footstool. Listen to the song that he's playing. Now, this is him promoting himself. This, this is not Jesus being promoted. And the lyrics are, I got royalty inside my DNA. The emphasis, the focus is me. I'm special. But when I start thinking about what God has done for me, it's those little subtleties that you see, and really not so subtle. It's it's about me. Go to that person. This is Keon Henderson or his wife. Go to their Instagram page and see how much self promotion they have, even when they're on stage at a church. What are they promoting? Either themselves or, in this case, his book. Book coming out August the 6th called Lazy Love. Lazy Love. Touch on that. What is this book about? So it's, it's the four threats that I believe that encumber any relationship. Um, and it's, it's, it's based on the four levels of love according to Greek, uh, eros, agape, storge. Now, forgetting the fact that he has gotten his Greek incorrect, by the way, a lot of folks do. They think that that there are there's a difference between agape love and phileo love, and it's really not. But I'll leave that alone. But stop invoking the Greek if you don't know the Greek. But why are you promoting yourself? He's promoting his wife's book. He's promoting his book. I don't have a problem with you promoting uh, or you having a book, but to promote it before the church people, they'll know. 
Uh, matter of fact, we're more than sure that your church is going to know about what you are doing so they can support you financially, support your brand, because again, it's about you. Now, there's nobody better at promoting themselves, probably, than Mike Todd. I don't know what he's doing with, with him and his wife. It's like they they like, they like enjoy having these photo shoots for what? And just sitting there looking at these pictures, him and his wife, how they are. They, they, first of all, it's probably not becoming of a pastor and a pastor's wife, the way they're showing themselves. I get it. You love each other. But some things ought to be kept away from the view of the people. It just comes across as probably tasteless. But what it really comes across as you promoting yourself. Now, remember, let's go to what, what we have in the scriptures about a man named Simon, who the Bible says he himself wanted to be someone great. Now, there was a man of, named Simon in Acts 8, 9, uh, who formerly pro was practicing magic in the city, you know, trying to amaze people, trying to dance people, trying to put a show on in front of people, which is what we see when we go to these churches. We see a show. The scriptures are not front and center. They are. And so he says that the people of, he was astonishing the people of Samaria. Look what it says, claiming to be someone great. And, and we know it was him claiming to be someone great because of that Greek word, heuntan, which is your himself. And so he himself wanted to be someone great. So much so that any opportunity that I can promote myself or show myself, I'll do it. Now, some of the things that he does, we might think is foolish, but for whatever reason, he doesn't. Now, as you're watching this, you're wondering, first of all, what in the world is he wearing? I have no idea why a grown man is wearing clothes that tight, that short, but hey, that's him. Uh, but these are things that are unbecoming of a pastor because a pastor should not want to be in the limelight. It's almost like taking cues from what John said. It's that I might decrease, that he might increase, but with them, it is different. The Bible tells us about people like a Mike Todd. The Bible tells us about a people like a Keon Henderson, even about a person like a Brian Karn. Uh, the Bible tells us, Peter tells us specifically in 2 Peter 2, 1, he says, 2, 2, I'm sorry, many will follow their sensuality and because of them, the way of truth will be maligned, which we see you do not get sound teaching from them. You have, you have good sounding teacher, but not sound teaching, but good sounding teaching from them. And he says, and in their greed, in their greed, they will exploit you with false words. Now, the King James Version also, I like the way the King James Version puts it as well, that they will make merchandise of you. They they see you as um, a point of sales. They see you as someone who's going to contribute either through their tithes or offerings, sowing a seed, those sort of words, or buying their products, buying their CDs, or CDs, uh, dating myself, CDs, buying their music, uh, buying their albums. Uh, supporting them in concert, things like that, buying their books, if they've got clothes to sell, things like that. That's what they see you as. They don't see you as someone who deserves or who needs the gospel. If they did, what would they do? If they thought that you needed the gospel, if they thought that the gospel was more important, what would they do? Make that its priority, but they don't. And so when you see these people promoting themselves, they're showing you who they are, then pay attention. Take them for what they say. Take them at their word.